Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. Well, we're gonna go rob a grave, basically. We're gonna go rob a tomb, anyway. Um... Do I have my armor and stuff on me still? No. It's on my horse! Ah! It's 11pm. We've waited around in the house for long enough. We're gonna get out there, head the Green Emperor away, and have a poke around at this very hard locked tomb. Which surely must have something good in it if it's very hard locked, right? And if we've got enough time, after we're done with that, we're gonna go to the aristocratic district and stab a butler in the face with a paralysis dagger. <laughs> Essentially, that's what's gonna happen anyway. I mean, we might not have to. It depends on if, if my chameleon's good enough. I might not actually be spotted this time, but if, if I am spotted. Quick stab with the paralysis dagger, bonk on the back of the head with the, uh, with the blackjack. That should be out for long enough for me to ransack the place in theory. That's the idea, anyway. So, also it's raining. Wonderful. Um. Did I set that place as home? We'll find out. Um. Right. He's either gone back to the cellar or he's uh, he's in my house. So anyway, I need to go get my gear from the horse. Man, lovely weather tonight, eh? Um, well, you know, it's not bad. Rainy weather's good for sneaking around. Um, good niche anyway. Where, you, where the hell are you off to, horse? Um. Oh, actually, I need those, don't I? No, no, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh. misclicks everywhere. Anything else I need? Don't think so. Horse, where are you going? Yo, Patsy, where the fuck are you off to? Go here. Stay here. Weird. This is off on an adventure, apparently. Just, you know. How bizarre. Right, I don't know if I want to run around the city with magnifying gauntlets on, but I'm taking them anyway, just in case I need them. Um, I've got the spectre ring as well. I won't put that on for now. Uh, and I think... I've got... Yeah, I should have a chameleon potion or something in here. Yeah, weak potion of chameleon. Might even have a scroll too, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe not. And I've also got my Moon Shadow ability. So. So. Off we go. Marvellous. Off we go. It's a very epic music. Um, yeah. Actually, that reminds me. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to need a... Might, that would be useful. But also, I might need... Um, do, 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 uh, no, not that. Um, even though I can cast it, don't do it. Uh, not doing it. We're not a character that, they, that we're not a mage, really. So, where, where, where is it? Well, there's the eyes of Eventide. Yeah, that's what I meant. But anyway, on that subject, by the way. I've had lots of comments from people saying, "Why don't you just give? Why, why don't you just get get Arthur some training, so that he can use alteration spells?" And my answer to that is no. Don't want to do that. Um, and I shall tell you for why. One, it's not what I plan to do with this character anyway. Um, 
Speak. You know, illusion magic was was I included as it really in this character's build as a concession to the fact that sneaking around without a little bit of magic is quite difficult in this game. Um, but <clears throat> here's the thing: I've already explained this to be honest, but I'm gonna have to do it again, I suppose. Um, Arthur's not the academic type; he doesn't sit down and study. He doesn't even read books; he just steals them and sells them. Um. Where the heck are you? Um, he, he, the, the last thing he wants to do is like this isn't like the Matrix. You don't just go to a trainer, they they plug you into a machine, and then boom, thirty seconds, boom. I I know, I know alteration now. You know it doesn't work like that. You actually have to sit down and you have to fucking study and you have to actually learn. Um, and I don't know if I don't know how many of you watching this have ever had to hire a personal tutor or something. I've, I've had to do it before because I had to go back and redo a bunch of my maths tests from when I was at school um, for a job that I wanted to apply to. My grades weren't good enough for it, so I had to go back and do it all over again, sit the exam and everything, and I had to f hire a personal tutor to basically reteach me all of the shit that I'd forgotten since school. And let me tell you, it was the most boring, excruciatingly annoying thing I probably had to do in my life was relearning all of this mathematics stuff from school. Um, and that was me relearning. That wasn't me learning and trying to learn something new. It was just the worst. I hated doing it, and I hated even more the fact that I had to pay to do it. Um, I had to pay to do the exam as well, not just the tutoring, so... You know, here we are. Gravius family ma mausoleum. So, so, and Arthur is really, really, like, even less so than me, the type to go out there and get personally tutored in the arts of magic. He can think of nothing more boring, more just insanely dull to do with his time even if it would probably make his job as a thief a little bit easier he doesn't care he's too lazy it's it's the laziness paradox everybody does it from time to time you know there's this thing that you could do which would make your life easier but you're too lazy to actually do the thing that would make everything everything easier everyone does it we all do it arthur is no exception he's not he's not interested so i've, I've been getting these comments for, for weeks and stuff and it's I'm not complaining. I don't want to make. I want to make that clear. I'm not complaining about you guys giving me these comments because it's a fair point. But I just wanted to clarify Arthur's position on that, which is personal tutoring to learn alteration magic. Fuck off! I ain't got time for that. Not interested. That's boring. Um, so there you go. He's not an academic type. Like as a lot of people said, basically that why didn't you do it like Idris? Where Idris, he you know he got training to learn how to do things he didn't already know how to do. Idris was the academic type. He was the type of guy to buy a stack of ten books, textbooks on a subject, sit down, read them, hire a tutor to teach him to do stuff. That was the type of guy he was. Because people have made a lot of comparisons saying, well, you did that with Idris. Why not do it with Arthur? Because Arthur's not the type to do that. He's not the type of guy to to sit down and study stuff. He doesn't care. He's only really interested in stealing shit, having a good time, and getting lots of money. Which is why he's breaking into a freaking tomb in Green Emperor Way in the middle of the night in the rain, for example. Tomb which has bats in it, apparently. So anyway, I, I'm glad we're now clear on that. But it was it, a fair point the comment has brought up, and I just wanted to address it. So, so people, people, people... People have a go at me for actually addressing what's in the comments sometimes. I'm like, well, what's the, what's the point of the comments being there then if I'm not allowed to address them without being told off? Huh. Trapdoor needs a key. I have a feeling it doesn't lead anywhere because it doesn't say trapdoor to anything. I don't think this place does anything. I might have stumbled just now into a bit of a, a bit of better cities that's uh, that's completely unfinished, to be honest with you, because I don't think this goes anywhere. No, it doesn't look like it does. Let's just be sure. sure. Yeah, see, it's not a trap door that does anything. All right, never mind. It's worth a try. See you later, Bat. Well, this is why we had a plan B with it for this evening. Um, and that plan B to get our asses to the aristocratic district so we get there through the elven gardens so we need to go all the way around basically I like my hammer I do I like the fact that it's a tool 
as well as a weapon. You know what I mean? I think that, 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 I think that really suits the character a lot more than a big spiky morning star. To be honest with you, it's something I like about that. It's a, it's a, it's a practical has a practical application beyond just killing people. It's the sort of thing that Arthur would use, I think, over a mace if, if given the option. And as someone pointed out, actually, you could use it to climb up stuff too, I suppose. Use the spiky end. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Oh, I've gone all the way around. Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> I probably could have gotten here through the sewers if I was being super, super duper paranoid, but I'm not feeling super duper paranoid, to be honest, so I'm just going to walk straight in there. Plus, you can't get into this place through any way except the front door. They, the, the modders didn't bother to add any sewer entrances or anything, which is a little bit of a shame, but oh well. Okay. Helios Alvano's house. One of these had some really cool stuff in it. Like, really cool stuff. I think it might have been the last one. When we had a quick look in here last time. I think it was this one. Had some really cool looking stuff. Uh, right, Vianor Laterius' house. And of course, we're filthy rich at this point. I should point this out. We are filthy rich. We have 30,000 gold. Ironically, probably still not enough to even buy a house in one of the major towns in this game, actually, because I think they're all like 40 grand. But still, we're pretty damn rich. However, at this point, I think Arthur's just doing it because he fucking enjoys it, man. It's fun. This place represents a bit of a challenge for him, actually, as well, considering he was denied entry last time, you know, it's like, oh, I want to I wanna, I wanna show him who's boss. <laughs> I want to rob these guys. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink a potion of chameleon in case it helps. I may even use, like, uh, 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 moon shadow to get in there, actually. Once some, if I can get through the door without being spotted, I might just pop Moonshadow, then go behind him, and then whack him with, with the club. But if I can't, you know, I'll just use the old paralysis dagger and hope it doesn't cause me hilariously bad problems. So, quick save. I mean, by, by which I mean like a, a fucking assassin butler that comes to try and hunt me down and kill me later on because his AI has gone into combat mode. <laughs> As soon as he wakes up. Um, I can just walk in along in the waterfront and suddenly the freaking butler appears out of nowhere and attacks me. And as, as insane as that sounds, I've seen NPCs do that sort of thing in Oblivion before. Um, oh, come on. crime has been witnessed. My ass, he didn't see me at all. Oh well. Okay, it wasn't this house. Never mind, there's some good stuff here any anyway, so. Bronze figure, eh? So. Whoa, okay. It's, uh... You need to get a bigger display case, mate. Well, you needed a bigger display case. I've now solved that problem for you. You want to get in this? Guess not. Whoa, hello. Really? Wow. 
Wow, I'm a bit disappointed so far, I'll be honest. Glass slippers. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be anyone down here, so I'm not going to waste a Detect Life Potion. Mm. What? Oh! <laughs> I was confused there, I was like, what door? I don't see a door. I love this down here, by the way. This, like, kitchen setup they've got here and stuff. It's so cool. Um, makes sense as well. It's got to be the only type of house I've ever seen in Oblivion that has a goddamn kitchen. I mean... Not even, like, the Count's castles and stuff have kitchens. For some reason. Aha! This incredibly rare and valuable incense, apparently. Um... alien stuff. It's not actually that valuable. I mean, I probably would have nicked that, like, in the first few episodes of the LP when I was really desperate for money, but now it's like, eh. Eh. Not there's any really after the super, super cool valuable stuff nowadays. Hello, friend. That's weird. What is going on here? Right. Uh, what am I looking for? They might not all be asleep, so... Okay. But yeah, you're asleep. Oh my. Oh, what? Well. Oh, come on, game. Aha! Level up. Sweet. Yeah, books. Oh. That's what I call a skim of pipe. Oh, wow. Oh, oh come on. Oh, I love that. Not actually worth that much, but it's a pearl, goddammit. Prosecutors. Ooh. Don't, not, I'm not sure I'm interested in that place, but I tell you, if I ever find the key to like the treasury or something. <laughs> yeah, there's the screw, man. Nah. <laughs> well, yeah. All right then. I'm, I'm, it's an intervention. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm a little bit annoyed that I can't get that open, but... Oh, well. What are you going to do, I suppose? Um, Freaking fountain. Like, what? What? Uh, okay. Whoa. All right. That's this place dealt with. Sweet dreams, butler. Sweet dreams. Okay. Not bad. However, i got to say, I want to find this place that I found last time. Maybe it's this one. Vincent Rienzi's house. No, I think we already went in there, didn't we? And we had to deliver that package the first time we came here. Orangia Galleon's house. Alright, well, same drill as before, I think. Uh... Oh dear. There we go. Why can I hear a rumbling noise? Also, no, 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 no.
テンバーサジャーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォーウォー Holy crap, they're spicy, and then there's whatever this is. I mean, I can appreciate a hot curry, but I have my limits. Um, do I even want to bother with the kitchen? I don't think I do, honestly. There's nothing good down there. Um, or oh, actually, no, there's, there might be some incense and stuff, you know, which is apparently pretty valuable, as it turns out. Also, frost salts. Also, beef. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoops. I feel I need to check every single one of these tiny doors now. <laughs> That's a good note. Rolling pin. Imagine if I could use that as, as a blackjack style weapon. That would be hilarious. Just going into people's houses and knocking them out with a rolling pin. I just, that, yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. Whoa, hello. Okay, yep, yeah, definitely search downstairs. Oh, crap. I thought that was a. I didn't realize there was actually. Oh, whatever. I didn't realize there was actually a bag of flour. I thought it was a sack like that. Um, whatever. Okay, yeah, the humming is back. What's that about? It's very con disconcerting. Empty bottles. What? What? Oh my god. Go to bed, dude. Go to bed, please. He's trying his best, but there's like a thing in the way. Oh my god! Like, he's, he's trying, he's trying, but... That end table is like causing him too many problems. He just can't do it. Oh my god. What is going on? Get out! Get out! 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 Forget this place. Um, I, can't, I don't think I can knock out two of them without alerting the other one. To be honest with you, so this isn't thief. I can't just like brain multiple guards with a blackjack rapid fire and get away with it. <laughs> um, Lady Jasmina's house. Okay. She sounds like the sort of person that would have valuable items. Like, really cool valuable items, too, as well. Like, Oh, come on. Hello, Mr. Butler. How are you doing? Oh, hello. Oh my god. Black. Well, let's have a look at my bounty out of curiosity. <sighs> Gonna have to see Armand Christoph before I leave the town. That is, that is, that is nonsense. None of these people have seen me. And yet I have a bounty. All the more reason to rob the bastards blind, I suppose. Jesus Christ. Physics are occurring, folks. Oh god. Touch that one, that's probably gonna get bonkers as well now. Wizard robe. Crystal decanter. Thank you. 
get in there. Some sort of wizard lives here, I think. Also, there's a spider on the mantelpiece because, I don't know. Tasteful decor, what? Oh, hello. Hex Void Essence. painting. For once in your life, NPC, please be asleep. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check it out. Magic board of spiders. No were. <laughs> Carto's retort. Say what now? I have a feeling that's like a super, super, super good retort or something. I just want to check something here. Oh yeah, it, it's a it's a really good retort. Um, okay, happy with that. Right. Hello. Get out. I'd have to pay. I'd have to pay the altar though to, to do that, which is a bit dumb. But that's quite amusing. That is quite amusing. If I ever desperately need to enchant something, um, uh, you know. <laughs> what the? Into amulet of interrogation. What's that when it's at home? What if I hand to hand the speech craft? Ooh. You're a weird lady. Okay. Well, fascinating. I, I, I think I'd probably just pay the, pay the woman in the market district if I wanted to enchant something, though, rather than sneaking into this this crazy lady's house. Um, it would make an awful lot of sense. Anyway. Oh, that statue. Reminds me of someone. Um, right. What's this? I almost missed this. Oh, it's, it's not a thing at all. Most unfortunate. All right. Well, it's 5 a.m. I'm feeling ambitious. Carry on Maximus's house. Really, seriously. Carry on Maximus. Oh, it, is that for real? Okay, fine. <laughs> You're absolutely right, sir. I'm not supposed to be in here. Well, well. 
Look. Well. Try get sapped. I want to see my try get sapped message. There it is. Okay. All right. Works a charm. As it turns out, I'm going to try not to abuse that too much going forward, but... Curious. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, give me, give it here. Come on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Am I wearing? Um, I'm in the feather. Uh huh. Spectre ring, backpack. Okay, I thought I should have more feather than that, but whatever. Yeah, this is this is going to lead to weirdness, isn't it? What? Sake. I wanted to put that on my mantelpiece. Over and count. Alright, well, you know, I have a solution to that problem. Worth 75. Ooh, trade figure. Very nice. Alright, this guy saw me, so I'm going to have to get out of dodge. After this one, I think. I might have gotten away with that if I'd used the chameleon potion, but oh well. I'm not sure I've got any left actually now I think about it. I think you should leave. Oh wow, really? Huh. Oh my god, it's mustache guy! Of course, he's the one that's called Carry On Maximus. Key to the Ministries. Alright. Why do you have seven bread loaves in your pockets, dude? <laughs> it's, I'm sorry, but I'm taking those. Whoa, hello. On principle, I want some of those. I might make a useful disguise one day. What the? Okay. Doing that talking even though I'm knocked out thing again. Ooh. Okay, that's just weird. Oh, Maximus, get, get into bed, my dude. That's it, lie down. There you are. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. You, on the other hand. Alright, it's time we were leaving. Had a brilliant idea. Ah, oh, it doesn't come with a helmet, damn it. You know what, even so. <laughs> um Oh, God, get rid of the backpack. <laughs> um, there we go. I can't move now, damn it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll put the backpack back on, I, I, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Fine morning to you, gentlemen. Fine morning. Me? <laughs> I, don't think so. I don't even know what that means. Yes, yes. Fine morning to you, guards. First, how are you doing? 
Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so not selling this. Oh, uh, this is too too useful. <laughs> um, right. Where, where? Oh, that's not the boots I want at all. <sighs> the boots are silence. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just need to get a helmet to match it now. Um, let's go back to the Green Emperor way. <laughs> 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 uh, why would I get a helmet then? An Imperial Palace Guards helmet. Uh, that's something to think about. Alright, which way do I need to go now? This way. Well, that was a pretty uh, fruitful night of thieving, wouldn't you say? Got a bit messy towards the end there, but I'm surprised it didn't get messier sooner, honestly. That's kind of... My plan going in there was, from the get-go, stab the butler and bash him on the back of the head afterwards. Um, but, you know. Didn't have to do that the first couple of times. What is it, citizen? Which is fine by me. I, all the same, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna yes. leave town, um, tomorrow. <laughs> uh, actually, I need, I need to wait around and see Armand about the bounty. That I shouldn't even have, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Well, actually, now I might have a bounty because I actually got seen, but pr pr previous to that. Sup, sort of fish, how you doing? Um, previous to that. All right. Me children. What's up, Angus? Thank you. Blessings of the shadow of Yeah, indeed. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill in my house. I think like the next day, and um, we'll see like Armand at night, and then I think I might leave in the middle of the night. To be honest with you. Saddle up Patsy and be gone from here. Um, and we'll head to Breville. That's where we need to go next, isn't it? So, might sneak out and try and see my fences. By which I mean Giovanni. <laughs> Before we leave, though, because I got some good stuff now. Um, right. Uh, yeah, let's rest a little while. Let's get some get some sleep. All right, level up. Agility. Personality. Um, I want to point to strength, I honestly do. Just for carrying capacity reasons, to be honest with you. I've got enough speed as it is. I don't want to go overboard with the speed because otherwise I'll end up running faster than my damn horse. And that's just silly. All right. Uh... First things first. That can all go in there. Can I move now? Not quite. Uh, well... Uh. I'll do what? I'm gonna leave that in there just in case I need to dress up as a noble for some reason. Um, there you go. All right. Okay, so let's 
go and find Giovanni because he'll be around it somewhere and then we'll go immediately back to the house and uh, just rest until midnight basically and I'll go see Armand Christophe and do what we need to do don't mind the fact that I'm semi-translucent it's totally normal it's fine it's fine What is it, citizen? Where are you, my dude? Come on, man. There you are. Have you changed your shirt? Or am I just... Wow. He's still not, like... Well Read any good books lately? I was given the legend still not selling stuff. I think he might have actually retired, guys. <laughs> um... Oh God! Please no. Hello. Goodbye. Oh my dude. You know what? All right, fine. You're a sneaky looking sword. I've got enough money as it is anyway. Um, so what I tell you, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go stick this stuff on Patsy. I thought about putting it in my house, but actually it's probably safer on Patsy, really. Um, And I'll sell it at a later juncture if I ever need to. So that at least if it's on Patsy, I've got it there. If I'm in a sort of dire monetary emergency for some reason, I've somehow managed to spend all 30,000 gold somehow. I can just quickly grab a Daedric Curus off my horse and sell it to someone. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, even though it's a lot and it will weigh the horse down, uh, just I'd like to have it with me. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, sort by weight. Daedric short swords. And. Yeah, just everything, really, I guess. Everything I'm not gonna. S well, everything that I will sell at some point. All my stolen shit. <laughs> um. Didn't wear those in the end, but never mind. I didn't think I might sell them at some point because they're just, I just, you know, ten points of security isn't doesn't really help you that much, really, does it? To be honest, it's not that big of a help. All this damn incense. Uh, keep a bottle of it on me in case I, for some reason, need it to boost my personality for a bit. The wine in there, the tea in there, I guess. Why not? Um. Ah, alchemy stuff. I've got... Uh, let's see. Okato's Retort. So I don't need the novice. I don't know... I no longer need the expert. Journeyman. Okay, one moment. Yeah, there we go. Expert more in Pestle. Okato's Retort. Uh, Master Calcinator and Expert Alembic. Beautiful. My potions are getting better and better! Um, so yeah. Fantastic. Marvellous. Do I have any flax seeds? I do. I want to I wanna check here. Uh, flax seed. Sweet cake. Yeah, 767 seconds on self. My current ones were doing like 500 odd seconds on self. That, that is, that, the, my feather potions will now, with, the, with that gear, will last over 10 minutes. That's insane. I'm a very happy man right now. Can I just say that? Um, right. It's also... No. Bull meat. Void essence, so... Anything else I can make here? Detect life potions, for example. Yeah, actually, I can. I'm going to rename you correctly. 85 feet. Look at that. 85 freaking feet. 380 seconds. Hell yes. And then there's the skooma. Huh? <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying found orphan saddle. I hope that's not bad. Um, I don't think it is, though. 
Okay. Let's not scoot him around. Put you in there as well. The bag of flour. I don't need that. Um... anymore. Could put all these keys in there really, but they don't weigh anything, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. Um, put those in there. Their troll can go in there. I picked up that crystal ball. I think I might have done it by accident. The magic ball of spiders. I really don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't want it. I really don't want it. The tent can go in there. Um, right, and we're good. I think that's fine. Excellent. Marvelous. 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 All right, so. Patsy's all saddled up and ready to go. I'm going to go back to my house. And I'm going to wait until midnight. Probably catch some more, some more sleep, actually, or something. I don't know. Um, that's what we'll do. I don't need to wear that anymore. I like it. Put on my damn... Uh, not, the, not the magic boots of silence. That's the one I want. Where, where am I... Are my nice boots? Well met. <sighs> Backwards and forwards. Hello. Hello. <sighs> doo -doo -doo, diagonal running for the win. Where are my boots? There they are. Marvelous. All right. Now I'm going back to my house. And I'm quick saving, because I don't know why, I don't know how long it's been. And between you and me, viewers, I've not had a crash in a while. Tux wood and all that. Don't jinx yourself, but not had a crash in a while, and uh, you know. We're kind of overdue for once, so. Merlin's not here. Right. Okay, well. Oh yeah. This is this is home now. Okay. So go home. There you go. There you are. Actually for now you can follow me. Um right. Okay, Merlin, my dude. Let me just double check there's nothing I need. Don't think so. I'll take those. Nope, we are good. It's time to go, my fella. Me lad, let's go see nice Mr. Kristoff. And we'll get out of here. Or will we? Does Arthur really want to travel out of here at night? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have a choice at the minute, I don't think. So, yeah, we will. Ordinarily, I don't think he'd like to go traveling the roads at night. I might, might go set up the tent in a camp and sleep out in the wild for a bit. In a reasonably safe location. You've done well for yourself. Yeah, damn right I have. Um, what about Screever? Are you deaf? Didn't I already tell you she is in Reville? I thought you might have more to say. I mean, no need to be a douche about it. Um, right. You can pay your fines to the guards, serve your time, or pay me half, and I'll fix them all. Consider it done. I will get rid of all your criminal warrants. Excellent. Thank you very much, Armand. All right. Let's go.
right. There you are. Come, Patsy! Adventure awaits! We must leave. And maybe not come back for a little while, because I've pissed a few people off, but it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Also... I hope you're good dealing with stairs, even with all this gear on you. <laughs>